actually i don't think we even need uh, this function so let me copy this and delete that we don't need this current url we just need to change it to generate link with a number so that we can generate a link and change just the page number so here what we will do is put an if statement down here just like this one so if the key is equal to page then we can uh, continue then we do this put it here before continuing and then just change the value to whatever number we have supplied there okay uh, that should work now actually this is the only function we need current page number uh, we may never use but uh, let's just leave it there okay so generate link with a number in there pretty good oh yeah we can need current page number in case we need a link for that very number here okay so great so pagination is here so let me go to home here pagination so generate link there we go so page echo generate link so i want to see the link to uh, the next page okay so I know the I don't know the current page number right now so what I'll do is I'll get page just like this and then say number I want to create a link for the next page so I'll say page current page like that okay plus one so let's see if it can echo that so let me refresh code one defined method current page Ooh, what is it called current page number alrighty then we will put current page number so let me refresh Ooh, what is happening generate link oh yes that's what i say generate link so now you see page is equal to nine because page is uh, eight here so if i put four here i should get a five here so page yeah so this is working now we can easily generate a link here so what i will do now instead of echoing it out i'll just put it in, inside of data so i'll say data page next okay and then data again page rev okay that's it so i'll put a minus here minus one and then i can easily uh, copy this and come to my index page and put it as a link right here so where is previous right there <clears throat> so let me use my php tags to do that mm hmm so this is the copy this is the previous page and where is the next page right here very good so let's give it a spin and see what happens there's a syntax error on line 12 in controller right there so what is the problem oh there are no eco signs Ooh, looky there right so page four here let's search for something here let's search for girl okay there we go girl but then we can still go to the next page with this search okay so something is wrong here fine girl what happened let me go back to photos girl 
Ah, it's go to URL is equal to index. Why is it? Why does it keep doing that? So I'm gonna go back to the pagination uh, generate link. Okay, so we have to change this logic a little bit because uh, that in URL is being added here before we can even check for it to continue. So I can copy this here, duplicate that. And then remove this. Okay. And then put the if statement as well here. I will move the continue because it's already here and move this up in there. So if key is not equal to URL, this is when we can uh, add that key. Otherwise, just uh, let it be. So I think this should solve the problem. Let me go here. All right, great. So I can do this. I can do that. Okay, things are working fine, it seems. Okay, so let me remove this search here and click next. Okay, what's happening? Oh, I forgot to tell it to add a page number if there is none. So let's come back here again, generate link. So if key is equal to page, do that. Now, at the end of the day here, okay, so URL at this point, right, great. So what I need to check for down here is to just say, if not, okay, if not, string, string. So we are looking for a string, str, str. So what we're looking for in the haystack is URL. And we're looking for the needle, which is uh, the page is equal to. So if the page number wasn't added here, so we're going to add it here. So I'm going to say, oops, what's going on? Uh -huh. So instead of returning here, we're going to return from here and say, Concatenate page is equal to now since there's no page number it automatically means we're on page one but let's add the number there so we're going to say page is equal to concatenate whatever number has been supplied so refresh the page there we go so next we'll go to page two page one great so everything seems to be working fine now let me come back here to my uh, load images and change this to three the limit to three so that's going to adjust the offset as well so page one will have three images on and page two three more page three nothing let's go back and so on okay great so things are working fine let's take it back to 16 great so that's how you do your pagination now as for these i can still put a link for page one right here okay so let me go back to the home page here i can give them uh, something like data page one and then there's a uh, page two, page three, and four, great. So there's one, two, three, four, right? So let's come in there, four, here there's three. So page one, two, three, four. So this one, I would like it to always have page one here. So what I'll say is generate a link, and I'll just put one here 
for page one, right? And on this one, generate link, I'm going to follow the, the current page, right? So like here, this is uh, page one. So this will be two, three, four. So if we were at page four, this should be five, six, seven. But one will remain just in case I want to go back to page one. So it will be current, uh, or is this one, two? So this one will be current page plus one. We'll add some pluses here, plus two and plus three. Uh -huh. So let me come back here. And wait, current page number right so I need that as well so page current so this one will just give me the current page number here I'm going to be needing this as the label for those guys there so this is what we need here page one two three four and then current page so let me come to my uh, index page so we shouldn't have any logic here so that's why we're doing all that logic in the control line model. So let me come back down here and region link one. Okay, great. Hmm. So this one is for one. This one is for two. Three. Oh, why do I keep typing four here? Aha, uh -huh, something like that. Great. So now here for the numbers, so we know the current page. So instead of page next, it's going to be page current. I think that's what I've named it, page current, yes. Plus one, like so. I'm going to do this so that it evaluates. So copy this, put it there, put it there. So plus two, plus three. Is this uh -huh. I think we're correct now so let me refresh the page so one two three four right so let's try uh, come back to load images as usual let me just put three here as the limit so that we can see our pagination in action so if I go to the next page you see it starts at three four five this one's still at one so I can still go back to page one can go to page four and now there's five six seven so I can go to seven ten next or go back to page one so everything is working very well here goody 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 okay now here we have a page number and out of the total so we can also add something in data for these guys so page one, for example, here, this is the page number. So we can easily go to index. Um, what is this uh, part here? Page. So there's a big uh, word page here. Can't miss it. This is index.php, is it? Okay, there we go, page. So this one is the value over here. So we already know where this value is coming from, from current page. So page current which is this one so I'm going to copy that page current and come here and paste it here just put the closing tag so page current so now when I refresh oopsie missed something here oh there's a 
in brackets. Okay, so page one. So let's go to page two and see. And it's moving now. But it's telling me of something, you know, the total read here. So I should be able to know what the total is of uh, this query. So let me go to load images right here. 